What is up, everybody? Welcome back to the channel, you guys. In today's video, I'm going to simply walk you through a simple funnel, a simple landing page. I'm going to simply show you how to capture leads on social media. Um, the internet, social media, it's kind of all the same. Um, how to drive traffic, how to capture buyer leads, listing leads. I'm going to show you the simplicity of what this really takes. And I'm going to also show you real examples of, of, of real posts in the news feed in different groups that I'm, in, that, that I'm involved with. I'm going to show you what your colleagues are doing. I'm going to show you what your competition is doing. I'm going to show you what the industry is doing. And I'm going to show you something super stupid simple um, to help you kind of stand out and, and separate yourself from everybody else. And the only reason why she's here, so if you guys are wondering who this little one is, this is my assistant. She's in training. Um, this is Cassandra. So she's currently in training right now, teaching her marketing, teaching her how to click, teaching her how to work the laptop, teaching her how to schedule my appointments, teaching her how to be the next CEO of Cantero Media. So disregard her never mind her let me show you what's really going on let me share my screen and let's get straight into it so i'm going to show you through just and we can this applies to any platform you guys this applies to those of you that are building a business those of you who are who are looking to capture leads get appointments even make sales but really really yeah whether any type of conversion whether it's to capture a lead whether it's to make a sell or or to get an appointment to drive a drive a click to a certain page to get someone to schedule an appointment. That's a conversion. So, so in this case, today's example, I'm going to show you based on, on real estate. I'm going to show you how people post their listings, how people market their open houses. And we're going to click on a few different buttons or, or links, I should say. We're going to click on a few different links and see where people are taking us. Like where are people driving traffic, right? This is all about leads, you guys. So those of you that are building a business on social media, again, you're, you're most likely looking to do one of those three. Capture a lead. So you're providing content, you're sharing value, you're educating your audience, whatever, whatever it may be. And you're doing that to capture the lead, make a sell, or drive someone to schedule an appointment. Really, those are the top three. So in this case, I'm currently in a group right here. This is a group of, of a few thousand real estate agents. And, and in this group are, you know, nothing but listings, nothing but agents posting their listings, posting their open houses, um, and, and really just sharing value, right? Coming soon, um, this charming property is located in 7439. So this is what's going on, right? This is your typical post um, that you'll see on social media, whether it's LinkedIn, whether it's, it's Instagram, whether it's Facebook, and really this applies to anybody, any, any, any small business owner. So if you guys are catching me on YouTube, if you're catching me on YouTube right now, and you're not in the real estate industry, you're not an agent, a broker, or even a lender, and, and you're a completely different you know, kind of business, but you're still small, you're trying to build something online, you're definitely in the right place. This is the right channel because it's all the same. It's all about driving the click, driving the traffic to a certain page to capture the lead, get an appointment or make a sell. So this is typically what, what, what you'll see, right? So in this case, again, it's real estate. These are all people posting listings and in houses. So in this case, you know, shout out to Angie, but this is your typical post, right? Like she's posting it. She's putting a, a, a brief description right here, a button to message her. So the only call to action is to direct message, right? That's the only call to action or to comment. No one commented. And that's the thing too, not, that's the thing about organic. So right now I'm showing you nothing but organic. And then I'll show you, you know, a few ads and show you examples, but the ads, nine out of 10 of them are driving you to a, to a, to a page that actually converts. What I'm showing you here is organic. I'm showing you what, what, what everyone's doing organically and, and, and what you want to simply tweak to give yourself the edge, to give yourself a, a better chance of capturing the lead, making the appointment, or getting a sell. Okay, so, so in this case, again, that's the call to action is to message or, or, or comment. Um, another one down here, here's another listing. Uh, this old house has been in my family since 1950. Right. So there is the description, actually not even a description, really just a story, no call to action. Right. So, so all she's doing furnish rentals. Okay. So that's a rental. Here's another listing, right. Just listed, right. Just listed 995,000. Right. So this, here's the description, right? And again, you guys, if you're not in real estate, this applies to your small business as well. If you're trying to build something online, this applies to you um, as well. So there is all the jargon, right? All the verbiage. There's the whole description. No call to action. Oh, that's what I was going to say. 
this is all organic, right? This is all organic. I, I'm going to show you paid as well, but this is all organic. This is in an actual group of over 4,000 agents, right? So this is a group that I control. Um, I started this a couple of years ago. There's 4,000 agents, 4.6 thousand agents in this group, right? Again, everyone posts their listings. Everyone posts their open houses. Back down to this one. With, with over 4,000 people in this group, it only reached 80 people. So those of you that are, that, are, that are marketing this way, that are simply posting in groups, you're posting on your personal profile, you're, po you're posting um, on your Facebook business page where nothing but crickets live over there, you post something over there, Facebook shows it to two people out of your 2,200 likes. It's like, that's a complete waste of time. So this is organic for you, right? So even, even in, in groups of thousands of people, again, again, every now and then you'll get, you'll get success. Every now and then organically, you'll, you'll see some type of traction, but you gotta be a huge influencer, man. You have to have hundreds of thousands of people, uh, hundreds of thousands of people following you to even make your organic post make a dent. Like you got to be, you got to be, you got to have a, a huge influence, a huge following. And, and, and most don't, most don't. And that's why you have to be running ads. But again, whether it's ads, whether it's organic, I'm showing you what's going on over here, right? What everyone's doing, how everyone's posting their listing in this case. Um, so no call to action, no call to action, nothing but verbiage, all of the freaking text, no call to action. The only call to action is to either comment or maybe even maybe 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 direct message. I'm the one that shared it, but you would direct message Catherine. Shout out to Catherine. That's actually my client. That's why I shared it over here for her. But um, but this is this is prior to us even even doing any type of work. We're just getting started, and this is your your current your current type of post, right? So this is what everyone's doing. Um, almost had a malfunction there, baby malfunction. But 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 shout out to Catherine. I just brought her aboard as a client before me. This is how she would post, right? Your typical post, no call to action, um, only expecting people to comment or maybe expecting people to direct message you. Here's another one, two thousand per month. So this is a this is a, a, a rental. Um, let me show you one more, and then and then I'll just get straight to it. Look, just listed, just listed, new listing, four bedroom, three bath. So so there's the description, right? Schedule an appointment to see it today. Okay, so let's click. We click. And where is she taking me? That's the million dollar question, right? Where is she taking me? So she's taking me to a page right here. This is hard.com, right? So right here, this automatically tells me that that's not her link, right? That's not her custom domain. So Facebook will not allow her to run this as an ad. So, so all she's doing in this case is posting it in groups, posting it on her personal profile. When 99% of the friends that follow us on our personal profile don't even live in the area, same with Instagram, same with LinkedIn. You could be on Instagram and have 37,000 followers. If you're a local business owner and you're doing business in this small specific area in your backyard, your 37,000 followers are all over the country, even all over the world. Ain't no one coming to your business. Right. So in this case, I'm speaking to the realtor who's actually trying to market, who's actually trying to really do something over here on social media. This is not how you do it. This is not how you do it. OK, so 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 when you're selling something or even when you're farming, like in real estate, you, you normally focus on one local area. You focus on your backyard. That's typically how real estate agent real estate agents are. So that's why ads are so important, because I got to be able to target this area. If I'm branding myself, if I'm farming, quote unquote, farming this local area, these three zip codes, I have to target, I need to run a Facebook ad, I need to run an Instagram ad. And again, in this case, in today's video, I'm just simply showing you um, how to do it. And I'm, and I'm giving you real examples, I'm spending some time on this part, on what not to do. Okay, and then, and then, and then I'm going to show you what to do. This is what everyone's doing. So I know for a fact, she's not running this as a Facebook ad, because that's not her domain. And then number two, she's also, she's also driving all this attention. She's driving all the traffic to the page where this Facebook pixel is hers, right? So, so, so har.com, that could be your broker to her broker to tell you the truth. For all I know, she, she could even own it. I don't know. Let's see. Elsa shot to Elsa. If I click on Elsa's page and I go over to Elsa's page, her personal, her personal page, let's see. She probably just, that's probably the name of her broker, right? Um, but, but either, or, um, Either or, let's see, let's see. Um, either or, it doesn't, it doesn't really matter. That's either her brokers, she could possibly own it. I don't know, Elsa Torres, Har, I don't know. Or that could just be a, you know, a, a completely different website. But whatever it is, 
if this pixel is not hers, right? If har.com is not her domain, if that Facebook pixel is not hers, all she's doing is driving traffic to a web page. Har is the one collecting all the data. They're the one collecting the quote unquote custom audience. And they're the ones who can leverage that data to run future ads to. So that's why a lot of you real estate agents, you guys are leveraging or not leveraging, but you guys are marketing your, your website, your cookie cutter replicated website that you get from your broker, right? You're with Coldwell, you're with Realty One, you're with EXP, you're with KW. You guys get these pretty fancy websites from your brokers, right? Whose pixel is on that page? Is it yours or is it your brokers, right? Are they the ones capturing the data from all of the marketing that you're doing, right? Look into that. Um, look into that because these these pages you got to be able to control. You got to be able to you got to be able to change that custom domain. You got to be able to put your Facebook pixel on the page, right? Or else I'm not marketing it. I'm not. I, yeah, the listing. Okay, shit. If I sell it, okay, cool. Well, there's my profit. There's there's the return. I get it. I get it. But in the meantime, all the traffic, all the eyeballs that are here on this website that you're not able to leverage to retarget. That's the problem, right? And especially if you're actually running ads, there's the problem. I'm spending all this money to get attention to my page when I can't even collect the data from the page because it's not my pixel and it's not my custom domain, right? So, so this is typically what's going on, you guys. Um, let me show you one last one. Last one. Um, and Okay, so right here. So again, shout out to Kara. Shout out to Kara. There's her listing for 3 Delcia. I click. I come over to the page. And the problem with Elsa's page is that it was too informative. That's the problem. There's too much information. So the moment I click, I come over here, there's already too much information. Search, sell, finance, your agent, resources, blog. Maybe I'll call her. Maybe we do it all. Maybe I'll try to sign in. Maybe I'll try to contact. It's like, dude, there's so much crap going on. There's all the information. She just gave up all the information before, before asking for mine. And I know she's asking for mine in this little form to the right, but I'm going to show you again something easier. I'm going to show you something easier. I'm going to show you one simple link. I'm going to show you one simple page. I'm going to show you one single button. I'm going to show you how you really capture leads on social media. Okay, you guys are already doing it. You're already, you already have the right intention. You already have the right freaking, um, not, not exactly the right strategy, but you have the right intention. You have the knowledge. You have the content. You guys are already posting. You're already doing it. Um, all I want to do is just show you a tweak. I want to just show you how to tweak this real quick um, and, and, drive, and drive the click to a page, okay? This is more of a website. This is, there's all this information. I can chat with me um, down at the bottom right. I can scroll down. I can, I can start playing around with this calculator before you even asked for my information, right? So I can look at all this stuff, man. I can click on Hayden Heights, Mount Ephraim. Ephraim. It's like there's so much going on. That's the problem with, with all of these clicks. So those of you that are online and you guys are doing this type of stuff and you're not capturing leads, I'm just showing you why. I'm showing you the reason why you're not capturing leads. All of this information, first time home buyer seminar, all this information, call or text. There's no link to go register. There's no, look, oh, actually there is, there is. There's Eventbrite, but that's not his website. It's a simple Eventbrite page and 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 now 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 we got to expect these people to fill this out when when i can when when if you ran an ad on that and i clicked and i came over to the page before you know it i'm browsing events i'm looking at organize i'm over here hey maybe i should create an event um I'm, I'm down here looking at all this other random stuff let me let me see what else is down here um actually that's just pretty pretty one pretty clean pretty one page a register but but the only reason why you wouldn't market this way is when you're actually running ads and spending money is because, because again, you can't change that domain. That's not your domain. That's Eventbrite's. And you can't put your pixel on the page. There's no pixel on the page. And if there was a pixel on the page, if there was a pixel on the page, it'd be Eventbrite's, not yours, right? So this is not even a page I would even advertise. Now, in this case, of course, yeah, he's just going for, for an event. Um, he, he's promoting this event. But, he, but here's the thing, man. This guy is out there in shout out to freaking what's his name? Shout out to um to freaking um to to uh, maybe me Eloy e, maybe maybe Eloy maybe maybe that's his name Eloy shot to yeah it actually is Eloy shot to Eloy shot to Eloy so you're over here and it's actually Brenda sharing it sharing it in Facebook groups 
posting it on her personal profile, posting it on your business pages. And I'm over here seeing this in San Diego. And this event is going down in, in freaking, in, 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 where's this event going down in, in freaking Whittier. It's like, dude, I'm not buying in Whittier. Like this is what's going on, you guys. So that's what, what organic marketing really does is that you're, you're throwing spaghetti against the wall to see what sticks. There's no targeting. You're not focused on a local area. You're not even going after a certain, actually you are going after a certain person. You're going after the first time home buyer, but you're, you're throwing spaghetti against the wall. And that's, what's going on is that I'm not buying in that area. And, and although, although if you were a lender, actually he is a lender, he can help any of California, but he's over here sharing this message to people in to to to, to four thousand people in a Facebook group who are, who are all across the country and even in different countries, so it's like, dude, this is not marketing, man. This is just spamming Facebook groups. That's all this is doing. I click on this listing lead or listing post, I should say. I click on this. Look, so look, look, look. All all it is is a send. All it is is send. So here here it is, you guys. <laughs> there it is. Let me just get straight to it. This is I can go on for days, man, and and it's all the same crap. When I click, there's nothing going on. And that's the point of today's video. It's all about the click. Today's video, the quote, the freaking headline, the freaking magic words of, of today, you guys. The secret words of today's video is it's all about the click. Okay. Hashtag it's all about the click. So again, everyone has the right intention. Everyone has the right content. Everyone's already posting their passion and what they're so fired up about their product or service. Everyone's already doing that. All, all, all that, all we're missing is the click. When I click, take me to one single page. Take me to one single page. It's not a fancy website. It's a web page. There's one button, a few bullet points of the property. It's a web page. You guys, one single page, right? No fanciness, nothing crazy, crazy expensive. It's a freaking page. This is your typical landing page. This is where we're driving traffic. So in this case, if I had a listing, even if I had an open house, it's the same flow. It's the same two pages. I'm going to show you. So that's a, a basic page, right? They land here, a simple headline, get instant access to the price and photos of this property. A few bullet points, one single button. That person clicks, view all 17 photos now, name and email. And that's it, you guys. And that's it. That's a simple listing. And then, and then it takes you to a second page, which I'll show you that. But, but let's say, for example, an open house. I'm going to show you the same, the same example with an open house. So if I go back to the post to this group, let's see if we can find an open house. Here is your typical open house post. Shout out to Rhonda. But it's like, man, this is not how you do it, right? This is not how you do it. 380000 if I was a real estate agent making, let's say I was making 3%, let, let's even say 2%, shit, 380, 380,000 times, let's even say 2% times 2%, that's a $7,000 commission, a $7,600 commission. It's like you're telling me we won't, we can't spend 500 bucks a month, 600 bucks a month on, on, on Facebook advertising or an actual ad, right? You're telling me we can't do that. This is super basic stuff. So it's like people make a good, a good income, right? And that's how you want to look at this, you guys. So whatever business you're in, whatever you're selling, product, service, what, what are you making per unit, right? What are, what's the revenue? What's the profit? When you sell one thing, what do we make, right? So in this, again, in this case, in the, today's video, I'm showing you real estate, right? If I were to sell this property, right? What the, what the average, what the typical commission is in this industry, it's like, damn, dude, that's several thousand. How can we not spend a few hundred a month? How can we not spend a few hundred on an actual ad and 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 crush it, crush it the right way, which is what I'm about to, what I'm about to show you. But but how can we not, right? So th that's what I'm saying. I cannot encourage the local business owner, the small business owner. I can't encourage you enough to to learn Facebook ads, learn Instagram ads, learn TikTok ads, learn LinkedIn, whatever the hell, whatever your platform is. Um, for the past few years, mine happens to be Facebook, right? I've had a lot of success on Facebook. So I kind of built my whole channel. So if you're new, that's what I kind of put out here every week, Facebook ad tutorials, landing page tutorials, and kind of just day in the life of, of, of training clients and, and showing them how to, how, how, to, how, to, how to break this down to the most simplest tools, I should say, and, and really crush it. And this is a tool, a landing page. So again, in this case, Here's, here's the content. That's all it is. Come, come see this beauty. Open house is from 11 to 2, Saturday, July 2nd. Where's the link? Where is the call to action, Rhonda? Right? Again, in a group of four 
of over 4,000 people, it only reached 27 people. Look at this, 28 on the 28th one, 28 po uh, post reach. Um, and that's in a group, that's in a Facebook group of over 4,000 people. So it's like, dude, organic posting is dead. If you guys are just posting organically, if you're having success, whatever, shout out to you. My hat goes off to you. If you're that one that happens to have 900,000 followers and, and you're an influencer, shout out to you. But most of us, we don't got it like that. Our, our, our organic reach is not, is not that, not that not that powerful, right? So, so this is what, this is how you do it. You guys, this is how you capture the lead, get the appointment or make a sell. So back down to Rhonda real quick. Let me just, let me just close out today's video with, with her post. So, so there's the open house, right? I would click, I would come over to this simple page, one page, one page. So now as I put out content, as I share posts, as I run ads, as I post organically, now I have a call to action. My call to action in that post would have been, hey guys, and by the way, click here for all the details, click here to RSVP, click here right now, right? So I would have been directing in the text, which is really the last sentence. It would have been the last sentence, for example, of the actual post. Hey guys, and by the way, if you like all the details, if you like to RSVP, RSVP for this open house coming up this Saturday, click here and save your, and, and, and save your seat now or whatever, right? Whatever the call to action, it could have been a listing. Here's all the details. Click here on the listing, right? It's all about the click, you guys. It's all about the click. So if that was here in this text, in the ad copy, I would have clicked. I would have came over, came over to one single page, you guys, one single page. Ain't nothing fancy about it, right? The background would have been obviously the image of the, of, 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 of the listing. Open house, Saturday and Sunday, one of four, right? 777 Blue Ivy few bullet points, one single button, you guys. So I'm not taking them to fit to a fancy website. I'm not taking them to where, where, where they can click on 15 other listings and freaking get lost in my website. No, dude, it's one freaking page with one freaking button. That's it. So, so this is your lead capture. Let me, let me take you through the flow and then, and then we can end it here. This is what it's all about. You guys is the click is the link. Send people to a landing page, bottom line. A landing page. I provided a 14 day trial to the landing page that I rec recommend and that I've been using since 2018. And um, there's a 14 day trial in the description. Um, I think it's Karcher 14 day trial. Click that link uh, um, below. And that's the landing page software that I've been recommending to my clients. I've been using since 2018. It's my landing pages. It allows me, they're templates. It allows me to, to, to create any type of page I want, a listing, an open house, a buyer guide, a seller guide, or if I'm marketing other coaching services or, or training products, whatever the hell, dude, it's all about a page. It's all about a landing page, right? So again, in this case, here is the flow. That person clicks, they come over here, they enter their name and email, right? So now they're, now they're RSVPing for, for this open house, right? Click here to RSVP, bam, I captured the lead. Now they land on the second page, right? It's all about the second page. This is what I call the money page. They land on the second page. Here's what happened right away. They landed on my landing page. That's tool number one. The moment they opted in, that was tool number two, right? So the moment I put my name and email and I clicked the button, an email would have triggered right away. That's an email autoresponder. So tool number two is email autoresponder, your email automation. As leads come in, emails need to automatically trigger right away. While you're sleeping, while you're in another appointment, while you're at home eating, whatever, while you're out with your family, whatever, while you have babies out there freaking crying, and, and now I got to go out there and change some freaking diapers, whatever it may be. Email automation, as leads come into your pipe, as they as we drive the traffic through these sales funnels, these basic two-page sales funnels, emails are automatically going out, nurturing the lead. So in this case, boom, an email would have went out. Hey, Dave, this is John. Hey, thank you so much for inquiring and RSVPing on our open house coming up this Saturday and Sunday. I'm so fired up to meet you. Here's all the details. In fact, I included some pictures. I even included a video that, that we shot last week. You're going to love it. So make sure you check your email right away. Right. That would have been that would have been an email or make sure they make sure. Yeah. Yeah. That would have been an email that would have went out something like that. You know, what I'm, you know what I'm trying to say, but that would have been an email that would that would have triggered the moment they opted in. That's tool number two. And then here's what happens. And then and then we got tool number three, three basic tools that are all in this one software, for example. OK, so here's here's the third tool. The first one was a landing page. The second one was the email autoresponder. The third tool when it comes to capturing leads on social media is your online calendar. Here is the flow. The moment that person lands here, this would be a one minute video. This could be a video you shoot on your cell phone. One minute, one minute, 
Um, nothing fancy about this video at all, but here are the four bullet points. So jot this, jot, jot this down because again, if you're in real estate, whether you're a coach, a consultant, a trainer, you're selling freaking books, you're selling coaching services, um, you're, you're a landscaper, you own a restaurant, you're a dentist, you're a landscaper, it does not matter. It is the same flow, two pages. Two pages, and the moment they land on the second page, this is a video, and here are the four bullet points. Number one, thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you for inquiring on our open house coming up this Saturday and Sunday. Number one, I'm thanking them. And again, apply that to whatever your business may, may, may be, right? Number one, thank them for opting in. Number two, I'm introducing myself. My name is David. I'm the listing agent of this beautiful property. Let me tell you a little bit more about it, give you some background on myself and, and our brokerage and why we're so excited to, to meet you this weekend, right? So number two, I'm introducing myself. Number three, I would say, hey guys, and by the way, I just sent you an email. I sent you all the details. You got the specs, you got images, videos, you got it all. So make sure you check your email right away. And also be on the lookout for my future emails because over the next couple of weeks, I'm gonna be educating you on what it takes to purchase in today's market. So don't miss an email, right? So number three, check your email. Number four, number four, I'm going for the close. Number four, and again, in this case, so this, this goes for any of you guys, man. So if you're stumbling across my channel, if you're not going to subscribe, can you at least freaking click like? It takes you literally a split second. Can you just like, smash the damn button real quick? Like, 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 just smash it. If you're getting any value, if you're picking up what I'm freaking dropping at all, if you're, if you're, if you're, if you're getting any value at all, click like, right? Consider, cons consider subscribing, but definitely click like, because here is the freaking call to action. Here is the icing on the cake. Here is the freaking, the, the, um, the, the, um, what's the damn word I'm looking for? The freaking, um, shit, I forgot. But, 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 but here, here, here's, let's just say the ice and the cake. I'm going for the close. Number four, right? Number four. Then I would say, hey guys, and by the way, in, and in this case, it's an open house. In this case, it's a listing. Number four bullet point. Hey guys, and by the way, this property is definitely not going to last. You're going to need to schedule your showing right away. So if you click the button below, it'll take you straight to my calendar where you can schedule your best time. That's it, you guys. That is it. It's going from a post, whether it's a social media organic post or whether it's an actual ad to an actual landing page. That's the difference. Stop driving traffic to your broker's website. Stop driving traffic to your direct message. Stop getting people to try to comment. It's like, no, dude, market. Like actually put a few bucks behind your brand. Put a few bucks behind your business. Invest in your business. Like invest in your business in marketing and learn Facebook ads, learn Instagram ads, learn one of these damn platforms, whatever platform it may be, it does not matter. We're sharing content, we're, we're posting value and we're, and, and we're we're, and we're putting out some kind of call to action. The only problem that I see in most businesses is that you have the right content, you have the knowledge, you have the post, you have the ad copy, you have exactly what it takes. You're already doing it. The only problem is, is that everyone's fishing because that's what I truly believe we're all doing as business owners. I truly believe we're all fishing, but no one has any bait. We're all fishing, but no one has any bait. The bait is your link. The bait is the call to action. The bait is your landing page. The bait is the call to action. We got to get people to click, come over to your page, enter their name and email, and schedule a freaking call. And that's why when they opt in and they land on this second page, this needs to be a video of you. This can't just be, hey, thank you. Here's the directions. See you Sunday. It's like, no, and then you got a picture of the freaking house. No one wants to see that. That's not personal. It's not branding. It's not going to stick. People ain't going to remember you at all. When you're driving ads, when you're driving traffic, these are people that are often in who literally live down the street, right? So to build your personal brand, it doesn't take much. You put a few bucks behind ads. You stay consistent every month. You target one type of person. You drive people to a, uh, to a landing page. You put out video for the ads. It's like, dude, it doesn't take much before you dominate and take over your entire town like, trust me on this, like, it, it doesn't take much. So in this case, this would be a video. And this is what it's all about. You guys is driving, driving clicks to, to, to the page where we can now get appointments. All right. So in today's video, you guys, I wanted to kind of just break down and use real estate as the example. I work with a ton of real estate agents. So if you guys are new, there's a, there's a cheat sheet right in the description, FBI ads cheat sheet. That's where I kind of break down the custom audiences, custom conversions, and how to really, how to really break down Facebook ads to the most most important core um, 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 categories and settings that you must set up 
prior to even running ads. It's the reason why most ads don't even don't even don't even convert because no one's tracking any, any of the data. No one's creating custom audiences. No one's setting up custom conversions. They're not doing any of that. So I put together a free cheat sheet. You can download that in the in 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 the, in the description. And then the software. This is what's this this is what's going on. Most softwares are about hundred bucks a month, right? Most softwares, ClickFunnels, Kajabi, Lead Pages, so many different softwares out there. When it comes to these basic landing pages, most of them run about hundred bucks a month. Then you got to go spend whatever 40, 50, 60 bucks a month for an email autoresponder, some type of CRM. Then you got to go spend 20, 30 bucks a month for an online calendar. Schedule once. Calendly. You can only use a free version for so long. Then you got to upgrade and start paying for the damn thing. The software that I've been recommending since 2018, it all comes in one. So there's a 14-day trial. Cart your 14-day trial. The link is right in the description. Activate a 14-day trial. If you're in the real estate space, I have all these funnels done for you. I can literally give you all these funnels. The listing funnel, again, two basic pages. This is how we drive traffic. This is how we capture leads on social media, you guys. Taking them to a simple page. I have these pages done for you. So if you're in real estate and you activate a 14-day trial, I'll give you my time for free and I'll give you all these funnels for free. There's a simple listing one. Um, here's a simple seller guide one. So if I was on social media and I was a real estate agent, I'd be educating one type of person. I'd be educating the homeowner. I'd be teaching them tricks, tips, mistakes to avoid before they sell. I would teach them how to increase the value of, the pro of their property before they sell. I would be posting nothing but great content, educating a homeowner on what it takes to sell in today's market. That would be my content across the board, ads, organic posting, whatever. And then the call to action would be driving them to this one page, driving them to this one page, right? The call to action. Hey guys, and by the way, I put together a free 2022 seller's guide that I'd love to give you for free. Click the link below. It'll take you straight to my page where you can download your free copy, right? That's what this guy should be doing over here. This guy over here, Shout out to freaking to, to what was his name again? Eloy. Shout out to Eloy. But it's like, dude, that's what I would have been doing. I would have posted something. He's going after buyers. I would be giving away a free buyer's guide. I would be getting these people to freaking click and go to my page, not Eventbrite, and, and, and opt in there, right? So I can really control that lead, right? But, but in this case, going after a buyer, going after a seller, whatever, listing, open house, whatever. It's kind of all the same thing. But all I'm saying here is that I have these funnels done for you. Here's a seller, seven steps to raise the value of your home before selling, right? So I'd be educating people. I'd be educating homeowners. I'd be running ads, targeting my local area, educating homeowners on what it takes to sell. And the call to action is to download my free seller's guide. It's really that simple, you guys. So it's the call to action. It's having bait you're a fisherman. It's having bait at the end of your freaking line. This is the bait. The bait is a free download. The bait is opting in to download to get all your details. The bait is a coupon. The bait is a free VIP pass, whatever, a PDF, something they can download, a free ticket, 15% off your next hamburger, whatever, dude. If you're a restaurant, you own a coffee shop, run ads, get people to your landing page and give away a, 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 10, a, a 10 dollar off your next freaking meal right? Da click here to download now. They come to one landing page, they opt in, an email triggers with their free PDF, which is a little freaking five by seven coupon looking design of, of $10, $10 off their next, their next freaking order. And they must freaking come in within the next, within the next seven days, right? So it's like, dude, this is basic marketing, you guys. And again, I wanted to kind of share my two cents. Um, in real estate, I have all these funnels done for you. So if you just simply activate a 14 day trial, I'll email you my calendar. We'll jump on a call. I'll give you all my time for free. Um, and I'll transfer all these funnels over to your account, a listing funnel, an open house funnel, um, a seller guide funnel, a buyer guide funnel. And if you're not in real estate, and this still applies, you're still freaking understanding what I'm saying over here. Activate a 14 day trial. I'll give you all my time for free and help you leverage the hell out of this platform and get off to a fast start. All right, you guys. So I appreciate everyone's time. My name is David. I'm out here in San Diego. This is the type of content that I've been dropping for the past few years now. Um, shout out to everyone following me on, on YouTube. Shout out to everyone following me on Facebook. All I'm trying to do is really just show a better way. We're all local business owners. If I was well, shit, I am, I, I'm a small business owner, but I'm not a, I'm not a local business owner, but if I was a local business owner, this is what we got to be doing. You guys, we got to focus in on our area that happens through advertising. We got to have them click, come over to a simple page where we can capture the lead. If we ain't doing that, 
nothing else matters. All right, guys. So stick to that. I'll see you guys on the next video. Consider uh, subscribing, smash the freaking bell for notifications and drop your boy a like comment below. Let me know where you guys are coming from and let me know how I can bring value to what you're doing online. All right, guys, I'll see you on the next video over and out.